Hey guys, today I have a quick full body workout. For those of you that are moms, this is great to do during nap time. If you're on vacation this summer, you could also do this workout pretty much anywhere. I am gonna be using one set of heavy dumbbells. However, if you do not have a pair, I will give you modifications to make this a gym-free workout. So for the first move, we're gonna do 12 reps. We are going to do a sumo squat pulse. If you have a dumbbell, you can use that. And if you don't, we're gonna add a jump instead. So of course, even if you have the dumbbell, you can of course take the jump modification. Let's do this, 12 reps. So you're gonna come down into a squat, pulse it up, down, hop, down, up, hop. If you've got a dumbbell, this is what it looks like. That was two, this is three. And just up, here we go. Four, if you are postpartum, make sure that you're pressing down through your inner thighs, through your heels, and you're pulling your belly button in and up. So your core is engaged. We're about halfway there. Seven, eight, core engaged, nine, Two more. Awesome job. All right, next we're gonna add a row. So first we're gonna do the version with the dumbbell. We're gonna add in a single leg deadlift, sort of, here we go. So lean forward and we're just gonna row that dumbbell up by our side. If you do not have a set of dumbbells, you are going to do a push-up for this move. Halfway there. Abs engaged. Five, four, three, two, and one. Switch side. So with this move, abs engaged, that's gonna help you keep your balance. Hinge forward at the hips, and then row that dumbbell up by your rib cage, pressing that heel away from the top of your head, keeping your core engaged that whole time. Engage that inner thigh. We're halfway there. Four, three, two, and one. Weight goes down. We're coming into a burpee. So let's do first modification. So you're gonna come on down, step out, lower down all the way to the ground, arms out, arms right here. I'm gonna push up on my knees, up, feet in, and up. That was one, we're gonna do 11 more. I'm gonna take it up a notch. Feet out, down, Knees. One more time. You can take it up a notch even more. Up, in, and hop. Good. If you are postpartum, use that knee modification just like this. I'm still healing my diastasis, almost a year postpartum. So I have the strength in my chest here, but I'm taking the modification to protect my abs. Six more. Five. Four. Three, stay with me. Two. One, shake it off. Next move, we're coming on down to the ground. We've got a single leg hip lift. So right leg is gonna go up to the sky and we're gonna press through that heel on the ground. So that's one. Two. 
Halfway there. Eleven and twelve. Switch legs. Press on up. Really press through that glute. Engage your inner thighs. Belly button down and up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Grab those dumbbells one more time. We are going to come to a chest fly. Slight bend in the elbows, open it up, and close it. For added challenge, lift up into a bridge, and let's do this. If the weight that you have is too heavy for a fly, you can do a chest press. And again, your modification here is going to give me a wide grip push-up. So we're really focusing on our lower body here, as well as our chest. Four, three, we're coming to the top after this. Two, and one. Rest. Take a quick breather, get some water, and then join me back for set two. All right, you guys ready for round two? Let's go. I'm going to take a more cardio approach and I am not gonna use the weight for this first jump squat. All right, here we go. Sumo squat pulse with a jump. Three, two, and one. Next move, we're gonna do a row in a single leg deadlift. Next, we've got 12 full competition burpees. Next, we're coming down to the ground for a single leg bridge. If you want, you can always add your heavy weights to your hips. I didn't do that in the first round, but I'm gonna try it the second. Next we have our chest fly and you can do a bridge if you want extra glute activation.
awesome job. That was two rounds. I encourage you if you have more time to do this video one more time through for a total of four rounds. You could also go for a 10 minute run before and a 10 minute run after to make it more of a cardio and strength combination workout. Lastly, if you're looking for a non weight version of that pec fly that I just showed you, I'm going to show you real quick before you guys go. So if you don't have weights, this is what it would look like. Your hands are wider than a normal push up. I'm gonna do it on my knees, and then you just come down, tap your chest, and then press on up. Look forward, and that's gonna be your modification. Again, this workout is focusing on our lower body as well as our chest. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the rest of my nap time workouts. Follow me on Instagram, at Sarah Fit, and I'll see you guys soon.